Mother Joe's has done an interesting uh, study of what has happened since the Newtown shootings. Now, of course, it's been almost a year now. And they looked at how many kids under the age of 12 have been killed by guns since Newtown. Now, Newtown, of course, uh, got a lot of attention because it was a lot of kids who died in one day in one event. But when you spread them out, they get a lot less attention. Doesn't mean they're less important. You know how many kids have died since then? 194. That is gun deaths since Newtown. And it's about the average, by the way, over the last decade, according to uh, official statistics being kept, about 200 kids a, a year die from gun deaths. Uh, now, are a majority of those um, when somebody's broken into the house and shot them and the homeowners didn't have a gun? No. Almost none of them are that. No, it's of course uh, homicides by their own family, suicides, and accidents is a huge part. And by the way, the average age of the victims, six years old. Now, let me tell you some of the specifics. 127 of the children died from gunshots in their own homes. So that's, again, not when intruders came in, when they were playing around with a gun or someone in their own family killed them on purpose. 127 out of the 194. 72 of the young victims either pulled the trigger themselves or were shot dead by another kid. That's what we tell you. We don't have guns in the house because the kids are going to find them and they're going to wind up shooting each other or themselves. You know why? Because they're kids. And you know why? Because guns actually do kill people. That's what they're designed to do. They have bullets in them and when you pull the trigger, it goes into someone and kills them. Now, 52 deaths involved a child handling gun left unsecured. Now, this is the moment when uh, gun owners scream, well, I would never do that. That's just a small minority of people who are totally reckless gun owners. And, you know, of course, good upstanding uh, gun owners would never do that. 43% of homes with guns and kids contain at least one unlocked firearm. 43% is not some small minority. That's a big chunk of people, okay? So, yes, congratulations, it's not over 50%. But if 43% of the homes have an unlocked firearm, why are you surprised when kids constantly find the firearms and kill themselves or each other by accident? 60 children died at the hands of their own parents. Unfortunately, 50 of them were homicides. In every one of those cases, it is sickening and unfortunate in its own way. Okay? When there's more guns, there more, there's more death. Okay? Now, uh, child uh, deaths by gun by region. In the South, 92, Midwest, 44, the West, 38, and the East, 20. Huh, well you look at that, the South, overwhelming number one, Midwest, uh, overwhelming number two. See, you think we're the bad guys, the, like oh, we're trying to take your guns away by doing regulation, by giving warnings, hey listen, it might not be a great idea to have guns in the house, if you, especially if you have kids inside. No, we're just trying to help you, man. We're a friend, like if you're going into a bar fight and it's a bad idea, we're the ones trying to pull you out. You can get mad at us, okay? But I'm telling you, you're not gonna be as careful as you think you are. There's not all these predators looking to come into your house and do harm. It's far more likely that the harm is gonna be done by you or one of your kids by accident to themselves. And we're trying to help you. But okay, you don't wanna listen. So the South, I'm sure you're incredibly proud that you're by far leading in the category of children shot under the age of 12 in your home. Okay. By the way, these are all conservative numbers. When two Boston doctors did a study of their own uh, and they actually checked uh, the records of the kids who were killed because this is based on news reports. A lot of the deaths are not in the news, okay? When they checked the morgue and et cetera, they found out that actually there's about 500 deaths of children and teens per year and 7,500 hospitalizations from gunshot wounds. These are giant, giant numbers. Now, okay, go back to the conservative numbers. Say, okay, well, look, I don't trust those doctors, I don't trust science, whatever it is that you believe in. Uh, okay, even with the most conservative numbers. You know that Canada comes in number second for number of kids uh, that die because of gunshot wounds? Okay, so how much more do we have here in the U.S. since we're obviously number one? four times as many uh, children and teens in the U.S. killed because of guns than in Canada. Canada's number two. Well, Germany and Britain are not number two. They're a little lower on the list, but they're in a similar economic situation as we are. 
there are 65 times greater deaths in America because of guns than there are in Germany and Britain when it comes to children and teens. 65 times greater. No, 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 but gun control doesn't make any difference. In Germany and Great Britain, they have a lot of gun control and not a lot of kids die from guns. We have very little gun control and a lot of kids die from guns. Okay, you can go ahead and ignore science all you want and the studies and the reports and you can say, oh, correlation doesn't equal causation. You can deny anything you like until you're blue in the face. But it's obvious what's happening. Okay, we say, well, those are countries. Are, then they'll make racist arguments like, those countries are more heterogeneous or homogeneous. And uh, so, so, in other words, they don't have black folks, which is, by the way, not true, okay? And they don't have Latinos. And, and we are, uh, you know, we have a mixed society, which, and by the way, is that right? But how come all the deaths are in the right wing areas in the South, et cetera? Right? But anyway, you get past all that, all right, fine, okay, let's stay in the US, right? Now, you would, couldn't argue that there aren't black folks in New York, right? You can't argue that it's, uh, you know, that uh, New York's got some other issues. Well, New York has, has gun regulation. I wish it would have more, but it, it has decent gun regulation. Now, Florida has almost no gun regulation. Uh, not only do they have stand your ground and other outrageous laws, they have a Docs versus Glocks law that they passed in 2011, which says that a doctor cannot even talk about or ask a patient about guns in their home. Guy, kid can show up with a bullet hole in him and he can't ask about guns at home. They passed that law. So what's the result? Number of kids shot in the last year in New York, uh, three. Number in Florida, 17. Hmm, I wonder if it makes a difference. And by the way, you can say, oh, look, that's an outlier. Yeah, oh yeah, look at California, look at Texas. Texas comes in number one, even above Florida. California comes in low. Everywhere you got gun regulation, there's less kids dead because of guns. Everywhere you have less government uh, gun regulation, you have more kids who are dead because of guns. Maybe that's a price you're willing to live with. And I understand that argument. You say, look, man, it's a freedom. And, and freedom isn't free. And so some kids die because of it. Hey, that's life. All right. That's an intellectually honest argument to have. I'm not on that side. I'm very, very concerned about these kids. They didn't have to die. Mother Jones put the pictures of the kids, or at least some of the kids who were dead, that they got from the news reports, and it is heartbreaking. You look at those kids and then you tell me about freedom isn't free and you had to have, oh, come on, man, look at those kids. Now, look, some people say hey, you're playing with emotions by showing the kids. No, no, I'm showing you the reality. Every single one of those kids is dead. That's the reality, okay? Now, if you don't want to look at the pictures, well, that means you don't really want to face reality. That reality is so uncomfortable that, uh, that you'd rather not see it. 194 kids dead since Newtown in under a year. It's not just about the mass shootings. Where there are more guns, there are more gun-related deaths. And you just have to be deaf, dumb, and blind to not see it.